personally, cosplay for me is just making really beautiful costumes, you know, as you know, of my favorite characters and just going, just showing it off and having fun in them. Play is any time where a group or an individual dresses up like characters. Well, it's a way for me to like make more friends because a lot of people cosplay and they're really nice people. If you told them cosplay, I don't think the general person would know what you're talking about. If you told them they were dressing up like particular characters, they might understand what you mean because I think there's a longer history with um, people dressing up like characters and things like that. Like that goes back a very long time. People, I think to a degree, can understand it, but I don't think that they can ever fully understand why particular people do it or why they would do it. Well, it literally means a costume and play, role play, but um, for, for me, I think it's more just like costume craft. It's fun because um, you get to be somebody else that everyone recognises and stuff. You can live in that fantasy for a day that you actually are the person. You are the Doctor and you are awesome and you travel through time and space. What pulled me into cosplay was I saw all these people dressed up in like, you know, one of my favourite animes. They looked so much like the characters and uh, it just really inspired me. Oh my, oh my god, they can run around and do what they, you know, what they want to do and, you know, just have fun with it. No one's really judging you <laughs> for loving like the series and yeah, it's just having fun and being recognized for it and I really admired that for them. I saw the conventions and stuff like that. I went to my first one and I noticed everyone dressed up and I said well that looks pretty cool I'm gonna get in on this. I definitely think the Sydney cosplay community is growing. It started off pretty small when there are only very limited amount of events for people to attend to and without a continuing amount of events for people to go to year after year there wasn't really the inclination for a great number of people to get together and um, cosplay or even learn how to make better costumes. Smash was created in 2007, it's been running for about five years now. We wanted to have an event where artists and cosplayers and a whole bunch of people that were interested in animation could get together and um, sort of share their interests. It's just developed now into a huge event that's uh, got about over 5,000 people. As it grows, there's just more people now learning how to make more complicated things or get together in bigger groups and pull off um, more interesting things that you wouldn't have seen several years ago. So it, I definitely think that it's getting bigger and I'd say better in the same sense. The community has grown insanely. When I first started out, there would have been about 50 people walking around the convention. Now there's like 75%. About 80% yeah. of the convention are cosplayers. A convention as its whole is basically just a meeting point where everyone can just get together, discuss what everyone likes. Well, it's normally the same thing because we're all going to a anime pop culture convention, so it's all based around that. The convention's just like a giant themed party. That's it. <laughs> I think cosplay is pretty integral to any kind of convention. Usually you'll find that the most important amount of time in a schedule has been allocated to the cosplay competition. The amount of people that dress up are an attraction in themselves to a lot of um, people going to a convention and that's not anything that we've organised, it's just people that are enjoying themselves getting together and getting a costume and I think that that really adds a lot of dynamic to the kind of show that we want to organise. Don't try to tell me you understand. My will die. We'll crush them. We'll crush them all. Innocence. Bring salvation to this unfortunate alchemist's soul. I, I really love conventions because I consider it a place where a range of artists, different artists, can meet up and you know, just show off what they can do. Cosplayers to digital painters, hand-drawn artists, digital artists people who make props, people like who make Gundams, like they create like R2-D2s and they sell costumes, they sell jewellery, they sell their own novels or their own comics. It's an arts market. It's actually a very, very big occasion for the cosplay community because it's when everyone just gets together and we just 
Connor cosplay. And today I'm cosplaying from Isovich. I'm using the robes of Obi Wan Kenobi. Iron Man from the Iron Man One and Two movies. I'm cosplaying the one and only Doctor Who. My favourite thing about cosplay is uh, my friends are all involved, so we all we all get to do stuff together, and um, we do like a lot of projects, so it's a, really fun, and um, it's it's also fun to just um, transform yourself all the time. Everyone, when they come to a cosplay convention, they're not afraid to just do what they want to do, be who they are. Uh, I really enjoy the friends that I've made and the attention. You get to experience another side of pop culture, and you get to you just get to escape into your favorite character, and you get to like just basically meet your idol. It's good fun. Everyone's happy and doesn't no one takes themselves too seriously, and it's, yeah, it's good fun. When I did an interview two years back. It was having to introduce cosplay to pretty much 95% of, I felt like 90% of the Australian population. But now I feel like I can say, like I will, I will say like, I think 70 now, which I feel, you know, it's a bit better. <laughs> Sydney community, you know, I'm loving it. <laughs> um, the people are so nice. And because of our connections, like the internet stuff, we can actually communicate and actually tell each other how to make stuff. Before the internet, no one knew you know, anyone. But now we're starting to know people by names and usernames online. And um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's good. It's, it's great. I do have a life out, outside of cosplay. Um, I'm studying at TAFE. I'm doing 3D animation and digital effects at TAFE and more right now. I'm still like a normal 23 year old girl who does like normal things, you know, that tries to like get through life. It's a little, you know, a bit pressuring on all of us, you know, to find the right job and like to try and balance what we consider our hobbies and, to, you know, to keep a stable, stable life. I think that there can be times where people can be, you know, that can be difficult in that kind of community because sometimes it becomes not only a hobby, but kind of a life unto itself. Yeah, we do try to keep it um, at a level, like we want to limit ourselves to not it overwhelming us and making us um, just like stress out to the point of like, oh my God, I have to sew this, you know, tonight and stuff like that. Even though some people, I know some people tend to do that, um, but yeah, we try to run a normal life. I'm actually a tradesman. So, <laughs> so it's kind of, people do find out about it. People think it's cool, it's different. Most of the time it's a big question mark. My family, um, they're quite, they're really supportive over this. Family's not really bothered by it. My dad's glad that I'm out of the house more. Mom's glad that I've taken an interest in sewing. My sister's glad that I'm not around as much. So they've taken to it quite well. I don't really tell people. They mostly find out on Facebook when they have me. They're like, she didn't have that color hair when I met her today. <laughs> they've, they've taken all right to it. They were like, oh, this is actually what she does. It's quite all right. Yeah, take, driving me to conventions, well, they used to, but driving me with big props and, and moving things around the house for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very lucky and I'm very thankful for that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children and gaijin and otaku of all ages, welcome to the Madman National Cosplay Championship. We are gonna have ourselves a fantastic time and I'm gonna bring out onto the stage four of the best cosplayers this country has to offer, competing for a spot in the national championships and a shot at an all expenses paid trip to Japan. Japanese animation is being incorporated into Western animation or into live action films now. And I think that if, if that sort of thing can start to become more popular to a general audience, there's no, there's, there's a way that that's so, the sort of getting together and um, getting going to events and um, cosplaying and so on can go the same way. The early conventions, I just found out, they used to, the competitions they had, you used to be in the classroom, but now it's like on a stage, like with, with lights, cameras, and now being live streamed across the country. It's just grown that much and I, I'm just really glad. I knew Australia as a whole would be able to compete against the, like, the world, but I didn't think that it would be so accessible to everyone. Being able to be put into a competition that competes against other countries around the world, like Brazil, um, China, Korea, USA, stuff like that, yeah, like all those other countries, that shows how much we've improved and how much we've grown. Australia won the Roller Award at WCS this year, which is 
for the best sew, like the best costume out of the sewing and everything. So we have a really good chance of possibly winning WCS if we pick up, if we keep up with those standards. The ability to turn something from a 2D, like something from 2D to 3D with my own hands, that is the talent itself. To be honest, any person with a sewing machine and a good hand for detail when it comes to props and whatnot, actually have a really, really big chance of actually getting on the world stage, going over to Japan and competing. The reason that I think they do it is one, it's a challenge, and um, two, you get to perform.